I need some motherfucking views. Views, views, views. I don't want to be Mr. Views. Okay then. Vic Von Doom to me a dollar. said, what, what made you want to evade taxes? Nothing. I'm not trying to evade taxes. What in the holy hell are you talking about? I'm not evading taxes. What's absolutely hilarious is people, idiots who say oh Phil, Phil evades taxes. I probably do more detailed taxes than 99% of fucking people who are content creators on the internet. I have like every transaction saved, every dollar I spend, every every gift that I'm given. It's all this giant elaborate spreadsheet broken down by item by date. You know, everything's available. All my receipts are digital, so I keep all digital receipts of everything I spend money on. It's all in black and white. Like, I, tax evasion wouldn't be possible for me. I'm too thorough. You liar, you. I'm good at lying. <laughs> but let's get past the fact that I need to sell, I need to pay these taxes and hopefully not sell my goddamn house. Then we can worry about me playing, playing, playing games that number one, are not gonna bring out a lot of viewers because Nintendo games never do. And number two, I'm not gonna get any money on when I put the playthrough on YouTube, all right? I've explained this a million times. I'm not gonna keep wasting my time repeating myself. Phil, your days are done. You, we know that you've been committing tax fraud, and we are going to get you. Ha ha ha. Oh. Uh, 275 in the pool. No, I gotta say that too. Uh, too many dollars. Says, Gee, did you consider saving money for next year's taxes? So that way you don't have to get deal with that? Dude, as I've probably explained to you a million times, I'm in a bad situation where I can barely pay my bills to keep the electricity on. So that I can play my fucking games on stream and make money. Like, that's how bad of a hole I'm in. All right, maybe eventually if things get better, yeah, I could save money for things ahead of time. There's no fucking way I could do that right now. I mean, yeah, when I, that's what I used to do. When I used to make a ton of money on YouTube, all right, and none of it was an issue. I would save, I would save up and, and pay things. Ahead. Sometimes I would pay shit ahead of time. Seriously, like I would actually pay certain payments, taxes and things all ahead of time when I could. You know, I can't. I'm living paycheck to paycheck, guys. I hope that someday I'll get out of it. I don't know if I ever will. I may be, I may be living month to month, paycheck to paycheck, begging for fucking tips and shit on stream for the rest of my life. Yeah, Spyro Wings says he's getting in binds like that, too. It's not a good way to live. It's really fucked up to be living paycheck to paycheck. You know, the thing is, I've been in this, this rut before in my life and got out of it. and was hoping I would never get back into it, and now I'm back into it again. <laughs> And my credit is ruined, and there's nothing I can do about it. Perhaps imminent. Get to safety. Have I thought about donating blood and sperm for money? Well, no, because I'm an impotent zombie werewolf vampire. Therefore, no one wants my blood nor my sperm. So it's all worthless, so I can't do that to make extra money. It sucks. Why does everyone want me to give Tevin a birthday shout-out? You guys are fucking lame trolls. What? Who cares if I say fucking happy birthday to Tevin or not? Happy birthday to my number one fucking thief... Who deserves jail time for the amount of fucking stuff that he steals illegally, except that YouTube won't do anything about it, and he knows that I can't afford to stop him. Oh, now I got a dollar tip from Tevin. Now, who knows if it's the real Tevin, who's a fucking another hemorrhoid on my ass, right? Happy birthday, shithead. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, Abby, you got his five seconds of fame. There, that's out of the way. Now, can we, have a, can we play for the rest of the night? Holy shit, man. Why do you give credit to fucking no-loads? Someone who never would have been known for anything if it weren't for me. Yes, let's talk about him all night. He'd love it. You guys would love that, though. I mean, let's face it. People who follow him, they're like fucking... They idolize him and shit. They probably want to hold his dick when he pisses, too. You know? If they could, they probably would. That's how these fucking... These mentally challenged people are, man. <laughs> oh, my God. No, see, someone just said, is, is Tevin the worst detractor? No, not by a long shot. He's not the worst guy out there. There's people out there who actively are trying to hurt me. They're trying to fuck me over. They're trying to get me to lose my ability to make money. They're trying to really ruin my life. There's people out there like that. Tevin is not like that. Tevin is just someone who wants to ride my coattails and make money and pop get popularity off of my name because when he makes fun of me, people laugh. You know, that's different than someone who actually is actively trying to hurt me. I think that Tevin understands that uh, he would want me to continue to be able to make content so he could continue to make fun of me, right? He's not that stupid. He's not, I mean, he's not 
a nice guy by any means, but I don't think that Tevin is a stupid guy. He knows he can get away with what he does. He makes money doing it. Why wouldn't he, right? There, But there are really, really fucked up people out there who actually have do, do things behind the scenes that are so fucked up. I don't, I don't want to talk about them because they're giving attention to fucked up stuff. Okay, that's why I don't even mention it. half the shit that I go through on a daily basis. Because if you guys actually knew what it was, it would just give more attention to it and make more assholes do this kind of shit. So, I'm not even going to fucking bring that stuff up, okay? But, no, in, this, in the total scheme of things, someone like Tevin, he hurts my, my business because he illegally steals my stuff and restreams it without permission. And a lot of people might go check his stuff out instead of mine and contribute to him instead of me, when in reality, I'm the reason he ever was known... And he basically owes everything to me that he even has any kind of a fucking following. And the day that I decide that I turn off my stream, that's the end of his shit. Alright, this is what's the, the best part of everything, ladies and gentlemen. Are you ready? I have to... Normally, I wouldn't address this. Normally, I wouldn't address this, but I have to say this, okay? Someone actually just sent me a dollar and said, Tevin has given more back to his fans and to charity than you ever have, and you make more money than him. He breaks the law. You literally might as well say, yeah, well, the drug dealer down the fucking street, you know, donates to charity and does nice things for his customers. He breaks the law. Every time he turns on a stream and illegally restreams anyone without permission, he's breaking the law. He is an actual fucking criminal that can't be taken to, to, to task because there's no policing for that on the internet unless you sue him. You are actually saying that someone who breaks the law on a daily basis is a better person than someone else. You are a fucking moron. <laughs> oh my god, you are a moron. A complete idiot. Um, but again, if I felt like taking legal action against anything like that, I would have the right to. But I don't choose to. Here we go again. Liquid's first now saying, oh, but Let's Plays are the same thing. Wrong. I'm paying a licensing agreement to the game developer to play their game under certain criteria and any content that I create that's considered a transformative work uh, with using that as a tool to do it is my legal property. It has nothing whatsoever to do with it. If I bought this game, ripped the actual coding from the game, and then made illegal copies of the game and distributed it, that's breaking my agreement with the company. But if I pay the $60 licensing fee to play Black Ops 4, I can now make gameplay videos, commentary videos, game reviews, whatever. That's transformative work. That's protected under copyright law. That's Black different than just doing live commentary over something that's not interactive. Of course. Soy Cool Arrow, of course. He says, because you're talking about Tevin, people are showering him with money. Of course they are. It's the same thing. Everyone who does illicit things and messed up things, when people talk about it, then they, they reward those people. Dr. Disrespect completely breaks the fucking law at E3, and as soon as he comes back a month later after being suspended, people toss money at him. That's the nature of people who are fucked up in the head. They want to be rebels. They want to support the fucking person who dares to do something that's against the law or does something risque. For some reason, they have this weird association in their head that that's, like, different or brave. When in reality, all it is is the easy fucking way out to get popularity. All right, Lose Awakening to me $5 and saying that their butthole is more of a transformer to work than my so-called job. Fair enough. <laughs> um. Wow. Someone named Commander Keen did a 500 bit share and said a bunch of really disgusting stuff that I'm not going to repeat and I'm just going to ban him outright so we don't have to deal with him ever again. That's disgusting. Oh my god, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my god, no, we got to stop the stream. I just received a dollar tip from an anonymous tipper and they just informed me that Almighty Tevin is watching my stream right now and talking crap about me. Ah! Who cares? <laughs> Who gives a shit? Oh my god. Like anyone gives a flaming fuck about that loser. Go, go. It's a fucking joke is what it is. <clears throat> so I think we've talked long enough about the asshole. Let's not extend this fucking conversation. Let's change the subject. There's many, 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 many other positive productive things we could talk about. That besides wasting time on a, a fucking no life idiot. Who by the way will not be around forever. He's going to get shut down eventually. That was my depression.